Hi boys and girls. This is the second attempt to film this video, so hopefully this time I've plugged my microphone in so you can actually hear me. So, scrubbing in tyres or breaking in tyres? A question which I've seen and I've, I've read many a forum about breaking in tyres. So I thought I'd do a quick video on it as I've just put some brand new ones on mine. So the question is, or a lot of people are saying, how do you break in brand new road tyres? I'm not gonna cover slicks or anything like that, I'm just gonna cover road tyres. Now, when you buy a brand new set of road tyres, if you are buying a brand new set, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they have a shiny coating on. And they look a bit daunting, if I'm honest. They look great, they look nice and new, but they're shiny. And the shininess can cause a slipperiness, which can mean you come off your bike within 10 seconds of leaving the garage. There is a video of that that does exist, was proof, and I'll put it up now. So you can see by that video, and it's been used a few times as a bit of a lesson on how not to ride straight out of a dealership. I'm pretty sure that's a brand new bike. The guy's lent a bit far and he's given it a bit too much throttle and his bike has kicked him straight off. Now, the shininess on the tyre, become it comes from a release agent that the manufacturers use to get the tyre out of the mould. Now, moulds in the world do exist, which mean that that is no longer needed. I don't know why they didn't always use it, uh, why not all manufacturers have like Teflon moulds for example or you know some sort of moulding process that doesn't mean they well it means that they cannot use the release agent that would be ideal because no one wants to scrub in shiny tyres I don't mind doing it but it's not my favourite thing in the world especially when you leave a dealership or you leave the garage and you see the shininess it makes you a bit twitchy it makes your bum all go a bit a bit funny so I'm going to share with you my process on how I scrub in new tyres or how I break in new tyres without breaking too much of a sweat. And the process is really simple. It, it's not it's not rocket science. I mean, a lot of it is common sense. Don't lean over on one, a cold tyre, and two, a brand new tyre. You have to break it in slowly. It's like anything. It's like any track day you do or whatever. You can't just go into the first corner balls to the wall, you will probably get chucked off. You need the tyres to warm up a little bit. I'm going to go right here, sir. Thank you. So, common sense in mind. My process is to simply get out on the bike, don't go crazy, and slowly wear off the middle patch of tyre. You know, the most common part of the tyre where usually is hard rubber and manufacturers use the hard rubber because obviously it's harder wearing and it's not going to run down as quick. Now, once you've rubbed off that bit of tyre and you've got the tyre up to temperature, what I'd suggest is you go for a nice leisurely ride. Don't go balls to the wall. Go for a leisurely ride on your own, no pressure, where you can slowly and gradually lean the bike over, let's say, 5% at a time on each side and as you slowly get the temperature into the tyre you can gradually lean the tyre over until it is at your limit let's say and make sure that when you're doing that it is at the correct temperature it's a full operating temperature so don't go out into town and try and scrub in a tyre you're going to need to go on a nice twisty route which isn't too harsh you know not mentally twisty just something that is nice and progressive where you can slowly lean Go somewhere you're comfortable with. Until you get that tyre up to operating temperature, then I wouldn't go crazy. So I had these on, I fitted, and the same day I, I scrubbed them in. I went out for a purely, purely for a ride to scrub them in. And I had, well, I was on the edge of the tyre by the time I got home. And it, they're all, it's all gone. The whole, at the start of this video, you can see that I've got shiny stuff on my tyres. And at this point, which is a day later to be fair, but, and at this point, oh, let me go off and look at this lovely road. Now you can see, I don't know if you can see, all gone. Now, if I go over to the left, where I haven't really scrubbed it all in all the way, you can see I've still got that horrible, shiny stuff just here. But, you know, roundabouts, comfortable corners and all that, usual comfortable routes. One of the most major factors that I think a lot of people don't do, and myself included, I'm guilty of this, is you go straight out of the garage 
and you ride as normal but there's one thing that a lot of us miss and that is to make sure that the the tyres up to pressure or the dealers put the correct tyre uh, tire pressures on it's a thing you need to check the pressures check their work don't trust garages I know that they're competent and they're doing their best whatever but just for your own peace of mind check the tyre pressures after you've had after someone else has had your bike it's just common sense guys so I hope this video helped you oh it's so muddy gravel everywhere mud grim what is this see this is bad this is what causes crashes man anyway guys I hope that video was helpful uh, if you have any other thoughts on the matter please give me a comment down below like the video subscribe if you haven't already I appreciate everyone who has subbed so far thank you so much we just went over 550 subs I appreciate it so much for now take care guys and I'll catch you on the next one ciao for now